Hello. In this video, you'll get to learn how to navigate through creating a proposal template using Aurora and what tools you have available to you. Aurora's proposal tool is a powerful way to customize your proposals so that you can reflect your company's brand and personality. First, go to the settings section of your account, then to proposal templates. I've decided to create a brand new template from scratch on a blank canvas. On the right hand side, you've got your toolbar. The settings icon allows you to modify the template name and adjust the page size. By selecting the toggle grid icon, this will populate a background with a grid to help you line things up nicely. The add icon will pop up a submenu. In this, you will be able to add in text boxes, image boxes, charts, 2D and 3D views of your system design, as well as tables. To add additional pages to your template, simply click on Add Page at the bottom of the application. I'm going to go ahead and create a cover page for my proposal template. First, I'll add in two image boxes. On the right hand side, I'll select the Add icon, then the Image icon in the submenu. Click, hold, and drag where you'd like to place the image. Click on the image box, then on the up arrow to upload your file. I'm going to go ahead and add in my company logo. Once that loads, right click the block to adjust margin sizes. I'm also going to upload an image of a hand reaching out towards the sun. Next, I'll select the text box icon to add in a title. So again, click, hold, and drag. Then click on the box and the pencil to start typing. For our title, I'll type in clean and cost, effective energy within reach. Right click on the text box to adjust the font font size, and line height. Click on Show More to modify alignment and the color of the text. To create an editable text box so that you can modify your final proposal, check off the box here. If you'd like to overlay the text on top of an image, adjust the background opacity. I'll go ahead and send our eye-catching photo to the back by right-clicking the image so that the properties box shows up and selecting send to back. I'll lastly modify the title to line things up nicely by clicking and dragging the borders. I'm going to go ahead and add in some additional text boxes to include customer information and contact information of the user in Aurora. In just a moment, I'll add in some placeholders which will automatically populate information to your final proposal so you don't continuously have to do so. I'm going to add in some text, change the font and font sizes for these text boxes. On the down arrow in the submenu that appears, you can insert placeholders into a text box. Here, I'm adding in first name, last name, and address of the customer. For contact information of the user in Aurora, I'll type out what I'm looking for in the search bar. In this case, I'll type in user. I'm going to add in first name, last name, email, and phone number. We also obtain design, financing, and environmental placeholders. Check out our help center for a glossary that explains the definition of each one. So far, so great. Check out part two of the proposal tool video to learn how to add in charts, design images, and tables. To receive updates regarding new features, follow us on our social media pages and feel free to email us at support at aurorasolar.com if you have any questions.